Okay, we're starting my video again. Um, the sheriff is, well, not the sheriff, a sheriff deputy is here. So we flagged him down. Hopefully he can help us. So I'm just kind of waiting for him to um, step out of his car. So hopefully he can help us because we don't really know what's happening. Um, he should have his own darn uh, body cam and whatnot on anyway. Hi. Hello. We have a problem. What's going on? Uh, CDFA uh, was just here to basically kill this man's birds. They've left paperwork that isn't correct. He doesn't speak any English. I'm trying to get a POI person out here and on the phone to help him because he doesn't know even what they want from him. They left this about 11 dead birds. He doesn't have 11 dead birds. So if you would walk back and maybe verify <laughs> verify, uh, verify this for him. It's, Is there an Anthony here? Who's Anthony? I don't know. We got to call somebody. Uh, Anthony had called us. I don't know who he is. Yes. Was it this address? Well, what were they cut? I thought they were going to get a kill. There was going to be a kill. Did Anthony call us? They walked away. They just left. I think they thought someone was going to come. Oh, that's probably. They wouldn't give us their names. I tried under color of law because they have to identify themselves. And it's all taped and everything that they refused. So we don't know who they were. They were claiming they were on the property in April. The man said they never got on his property ever. You can see what happened. We don't know who is Anthony. Yeah, that's the 57. Yeah, he, we're not there. I didn't. Is there any way, because I have plates of the vehicles, would you be able to run those um, in there to just keep them on file and clutch to know who they even belong to? Well, Carrie, first we got to find out if the CDFA oh. called him or one of us Anthony called, called him. him. He doesn't have anything Anthony, further. We, we don't know. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna call Anthony because that's my, the reporting party that, okay. that had us come out here. So um, let me let me talk to him, find out what, uh, what he wanted. Yeah, to because we okay. were told right. that you guys won't Thank come you. out for us anymore. The citizens of Sergeant Luka Ponder. Valley. Sergeant Ponder was who I spoke to, and he said that um, Riverside Sheriff will not come out to anything chicken related. Now, I've reached out to uh, Sheriff Bianco. I've actually met him personally about this problem. I never heard back. He was supposed to get back with me on Friday, and unfortunately, he went missing again. Um, he was at Lake Elsinore Storm over the weekend, last seen, but missing. Those are cheap tickets. He probably got them free, but yeah. we don't know where yeah, he is either. Yeah. Really? From the storm? Uh, she's a massage therapist, and she told me Bianco's a new sheriff or something. Yeah, but we can't find him. We don't know what happened here. I've tried to reach out to him because um, prior to for my slaughter, uh, part of his job to, d duties are dispute resolution. But that didn't happen but, in my but case. But I'm upset here because if Anthony is working with the CDFA and got them to come, that hurts my feelings. Wouldn't that hurt your feeling? Well, they've already, they have already—they—they don't care about feelings. They'll rip your I heart. But they the took a knife right straight to my heart right, and my so family's heart. There, once again, earlier, do you remember, Mario, I was talking about my feed? That if the local authorities come out here in behalf of the CDFA, USDA, they're not for us. That's the whole thing. I know. We need our local authorities to protect us we, from the state we're level. We're it. We are the we're, help. We're on our own, folks. Yeah, we are. We had a very serious incident uh, yesterday, too. I don't know. CFA called him? Is that what you heard? Yeah, we, 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 didn't. we don't know. But no, we do know. We're not the bad guys because no, I'm Anthony. standing here waiting for help. So. He's closing the door, so. Whoever Anthony is doesn't want to be. He doesn't want, but if he was a citizen, he, would, he wouldn't mind calling. He might be, I don't know. I wonder if I should pull off of here and get the plates off to see if I can have them put the plates in. They need to start tallying this up. We've got people that were followed yesterday. Right. And we had another report taken. Under the color of law, these people are not identifying well, this, themselves. This, this is very upsetting for me because if the CDFA is using the sheriff of Riverside uh, County. Sergeant Ponder said no, they're Valley. not. So, Sergeant Ponder, it's recorded on message with Gina and I on phone with him. He stated, Riverside County Sheriff is not responding to anything chicken related. Call CHP. Right. CHP Norris kissed it back off to Riverside. Riverside re-kissed it back off to Highway Patrol. He kissed me off to Sergeant Antillian, who we had the incident at Terry's house where he finally uh, revealed his identity. I've called and left that guy messages, nothing. And Lieutenant Ele Elliman, which his email's in there, he... Uh, 
wasn't real happy to speak with me and didn't really have any answers. So I, I don't know who's handling this. Yeah. The yeah. guys in uh, CHP, those guys in blue that we did see, those are the undercover guys. Those guys usually work undercover They're assignments. They're doing a very good job coming undercover I know. underneath our phones. That's a little. They shouldn't bit. send their undercover here. Well, that's what those uniforms yeah. normally indicate. Those are the undercover guys. Thus, you see the scraggly beards. Right. And I, I suggest, faces. folks, if you see somebody who says they're law enforcement and has a beard, request that they shave. Okay. We don't need a shaven law enforcement well, agent unless they have a mustache. No, but they're supposed to be um, undercover, and I would say well, working we don't crimes of serious anymore. nature. But now like, we're what's crime of serious nature? Killing chickens? Yeah. yeah. Well, the the criminals are actually the 187 suspects that are in the album, not me. You know, is I'm there not any criminal. possible way our um, people that are watching us can you call the Riverside County, all the Harupa Valley, all the sheriff's department, police okay. station? And ask him. Right. Danella, I don't know who called. I'm trying to read your comments. I don't know who called. Uh, they said a person by the name of Anthony. I don't know who Anthony is. Exactly. Um, all the workers that left here refused to give me any names. So maybe yeah, one of them is Anthony. Um, our people that are here, we don't have anybody by the name of Anthony here. So I don't know who that might be. Um, this deputy's trying to figure it all out. That's why he's he's sitting here trying to figure out who Anthony is. We don't even know. Plastic all around it. Probably because she was too lazy to remove it after she purchased it. No, she sanitized it. That's why. She was sanitizing it. Who are we kidding? That's what I'm saying. It's for sanitary purposes. She just admitted she did. But here's a white paper. She couldn't get one signature here. Okay, so we don't know what's. I said it goes both ways, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they won't give us any names. That's why I'm going to see if I can get him to run some plates. I wonder if I should get off of this and get into the albums and get plates. Cause I no, haven't... I think people are watching you. I know, but Nobody's I... watching me. I'm not as famous as Carrie. Yeah, but we need to get these plates into the system there because he can run them right there. That little computer. Yeah. That's called an MDT. You can run plates in that little nifty thing. This guy should have a clutch user ID number ID. So when he runs those plates, it'll show back who is the registered owner and the address of the registered owner. So we can get a little clarity on who some of these people are and if they are legit people or if they are not legit people, because we don't know. Um, nobody will give IDs, nobody will give anything. So it's pretty strange. But um, do you want to go into albums and write down some plates and let's see if we can get him to run some plates for us so they're in the system at least? Because I haven't found the sheriff, but the sheriff can look under his Klutz ID number and they can pull everything around to find out who these people are. I do. I just want to be on this one because I wanted to hear who Anthony is. You know what I mean? I had to guess. I, ask, ask, ask I don't know who. No. Do you have uh, the plate? Those plates that we took down, I'm going to see if I can get this guy to run some plates for us. Um, and um, if you want to go to albums, because we have like 10 oh, different plates. There was one yesterday, I believe, yeah, also. Yeah, but I mean, um, yeah, we need to see if he can run the plates, because what he'll do is he can run them in the MDT. Well, they go under his, his Kletz number, and when they go under the Kletz number, they're stored. So that when we find the sheriff, he oh, can hopefully right. help us. I, I can't afford alcohol. I don't, I don't really uh, think. Okay. Just so, just so that you know, I guess the parties that did call us out here was one of the, uh, one of the gentlemen that was... Uh, that was gonna, they were going to come out here to do some kind of inspection on the property. Oh, we got okay. an honest Deputy Chavez, an honest man, who just said CDFA called on us. But they um, uh, but they said they left and didn't need us. So. But now here's the thing, because now here's where we're at. Do you, uh, do you speak Spanish? By way? Yeah, I do speak okay. Spanish. Okay. Um, the homeowner's over here, and here's our problem. Um, they pulled this bulk warrant, which I've never seen one quite like it, but they did pull a bulk warrant. So the... the problem is here is if they show back up with this bulk warrant and cut the guy's locks and everything he it's not that he has consented or didn't consent he hasn't seen any paperwork to know what is happening is the problem so he doesn't really know what is going on they left a form here that indicates he's got um, dead roosters if you would mind if you would do this for us a favor to walk back let him walk back with you because they're saying that he has 11 dead ones is I don't know what this is involved in. I'm not going to get involved in it. Okay. If there's some, something, uh, when they, if they do come back by, for any reason and we need to keep the peace or, or show up for any reason, 
uh, you guys can call us or they can call us. Is there us any way you could put a few, these we'll plates were just here. Can you put those in to collect? So when Sheriff Bianco, we find him, we can figure out who these things are registered. I know you don't have to give me the registered owner, right. but he could pull it under Kletz, under your ID later to say, these people were at this house. I have it all videoed with their cars. We don't know who they are. Right. And under we color. information already. Yeah. I'm not going to add it to, to my call. You already have that information. But I don't have an MDT with me. I retired a few years ago, so. Right. I don't, I, I no longer do this job anymore. I just now help right. citizens no, I, out. I, under, I understand, I understand, but uh, right now that, that has nothing to, I'm not conducting an investigation that uh, requires me to put those plates in. I Well, the problem is, is this gentleman is the homeowner and he's kind of, like he's afraid, he doesn't know what to do. Who are these people? Will they be back? And I did it, try to call their number he gave me to maybe. How did, how did you guys know they were gonna, let me see that. How uh, did you guys the, know they were gonna the nephew, uh, Because our friend told us. Good because this gentleman didn't know what's happening and he doesn't have anything in in his language. So his nephew's trying to intervene what's happening and they don't know. Did you look up this website? They look like they're pretty official, USDA. Oh, not, well, I've already dealt with the state vet. We've had them all out here. I just called that they won't come. Have they briefed you guys on all this stuff? Sergeant Ponder or anybody? I, I have like six cards of, of uh, Riverside guys that have been out on calls. Mm -hmm. Did they give you guys a briefing on all this? I haven't received any information. Uh, Sergeant Ponder ship may have. Maybe they have a little more information. On it. You might want to ask him what's happening, because uh, we got a lot of problems here, and, and we're getting people that don't uh, can't get help. I mean, and it's just unfortunate. And all we want to ensure for this gentleman minimally today is if they can please, if you can't verify that the dead ones aren't dead, I'll walk back with them to verify it and show it. But can, is there any way that? that we can verify to him that at least he's safe today. He can make an appointment tomorrow with them if, if once he has the paperwork and knows what they want to do. It's, it's not that this man is not complying, but the bully tactics are not working out. Uh, like I said, I don't know what's, what's going on. If you do need us to come back or if they need us to come back, all you guys, all, all you got to do is call us. Obviously, there's nothing going on right now. No, no. No, we weren't fun. doing anything. No. Nothing going on at all. When you well, came here, building, you just made uh, Riverside County Sheriff. Do you here. have a... Uh, oh, Channel 4. Channel 4 is here. Oh, Thank cool. goodness. The cops, Channel 4. That's Tony Shin. Do you have a card with this ID this number you could give me? The incident you know, ID? With the incident number? Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Bueno, Senor Hernandez. Don't go anywhere. Okay. We now have uh, Channel 4 is here. Telemundo. And... Uh, this is going to be a good thing because I think for our uh, Spanish-speaking uh, people that need to know their rights and they need to understand what's happening. And I think what we're going to do is see if Channel 4 will verify that form that shows that this guy has uh, 11 dead birds or something back there, but he doesn't have any dead birds. So um, we're getting to the bottom of this. There we go. Channel 4 is in the house. woo -hoo. There we go, people. Channel 4. Hi, guy. Okay, I'm getting the incident number from the uh, deputy here. At this point in time, he um, all we know is a person named, thank you, a person named Anthony called. Right, have a good day. Okay, thank you, sir. If you can find Sheriff Chad Bianco, let him know to please reach out to Carrie. <laughs> okay, thank Thanks. You. Okay, so here's this. Um, here's his info. He did not take a report. All he did was take a incident on this um we'll find out what that's gonna have to be sheriff uh bianco what we need to do is um when you view this or when you uh appear or, or hopefully you're safe um all these people and all these instances i got this one for you i got one from last night i've got a lot of plates that need to be ran um the deputies that were at my house there was like 30 plus people there i asked that you please run them so that we know who they are and that never happened so I, I, you know, we really need to get to the bottom of IDing these people and under color of the law, they're supposed to be identifying. Okay, so now we have whoop, whoop, and BC in the house, Telemundo. So he's gonna get his paperwork together. I'm gonna um, shut this off, I think, live because- uh, Yeah, shut it off, I, I got you filming okay. out here. Okay, okay people, shutting this off. And yes, whoever, I can't read all this stuff, but if you guys want to tag other media sources, especially uh, ones that are predominantly Spanish, so that we can um, spread this out and get the word going.